Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of This Week in Jewish History. Today we're going to celebrate the birthday of Jacob Rodriguez Pereira, a very important individual who is one of the first people to teach deaf mutes how to communicate. A crypto Jew from Portugal, he made a signal achievement and com contribution to the uh, lifestyle quality of disabled people everywhere. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic week. Jacob Rodriguez Pereira was born in Portugal in 1715. Uh, his family were crypto Jews, that is, they were secretly Jewish but practicing as Christians, and in fact, he was baptized as a child. Uh, out of fear of the Portuguese Inquisition, the family practiced their Judaism in secret. Uh, sometimes these people are known as Maranos, which is a derogatory term. Crypto-Jews is a preferred term. When his father died, when Pereira was six years old, his mother took the family to Bordeaux in France, where they openly resumed living as Jews. It was at this age that he received his Brit Milah, and he became a very dedicated supporter of the Jewish people, uh, something that was very useful for him later on when he had achieved his fame. Primarily, he achieved his fame through his invention of a method of teaching deaf mutes to communicate. He had a sister who was deaf mute, and through using various hand signs, he adapted a manual language for the deaf, which was in many ways a huge innovation over earlier methods that had been developed over the past couple centuries, and uh, he ev eventually got her to speak, uh, th at least to communicate. At this point, his methods were, um, were recognized by a wealthy French family who hired him to teach their son how to uh, communicate, and uh, he developed his methods to such a degree that he eventually was named to the... Um, Royal Society of London in 1759, uh, after having been recognized by the King Louis the Fifteenth for his contributions to the deaf people, deaf mutes of France, uh, he went on to uh, develop this method significantly. Uh, but in fact, that was only one of his many talents. He was known as a, a pioneer of early computing skills, and he in fact invented a machine that was uh, an early 18th century precursor of modern computing devices. Um, and uh, he was very active in the financial world as well, in fact, even advising the uh, French government on how to reduce their deficit. Uh, his, he later went on to champion various French causes and ultimately won their um, acceptance in Bordeaux uh, with the official right to reside in that state. Um, years later, he was recognized primarily, however, for his work with deaf mutes, and this is a coin that was minted in Portugal in 1981, which was the International Year of the Disabled Person, honoring his achievements on behalf of deaf mutes everywhere. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic week.